here's the here's the switch card. Oh, there it is. This is what it's going to look like. This is the black card. Uh, the neat part about it, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but it's metal. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a pretty heavy duty metal. Uh, it's got a great feel to it. You can see it's got the switch, uh, the switch logo. It's got the the, the Visa debit, you know, there. Here's what the back will look like, quasi. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we're ho hoping we're only you know a couple weeks out from that, to be able to get that out to everybody as well. Brad, Brad anyway. I'm getting a question here. Uh, if they are working worldwide, these cards, you know, can you order them from yes. anywhere? Anywhere, yeah. Well, anywhere except for the restricted EA area <laughs> and the OFAC. Um, so, yes, to that question. Absolutely. Um, I wanted to show a quick slideshow to kind of tell you what we're doing, kind of why we started with Switch. I know you've, you've heard some of my stuff before, but I'll, I'll make this quick so we can uh, – but let me just share this. Okay, this is kind of, you know, someone just asked, that was a great lead into what we're doing. We're trying to bring the whole world together. We're, we we want to bank the unbanked and not necessarily because they've, they've bounced a bunch of checks, but because maybe they can't, they don't have two forms of ID like in Spain when you go there to try to get a bank account. We're only requiring one form of ID and a facial, a biometric uh, read, and that counts as your second form of ID. So, um, that's what's kind of cool about our practice. We, we want to be able to have it come to everyone and everyone to be able to use it. Um, the next screen, this is, you know, our team, the problem, the answer is kind of the overview of, of, of the talking points that I want to talk real quick about. Um, this is a team. You guys have met Kathy. You've met, um, obviously me. I don't know. I, I asked Brian to get on here. Brian, he might be muted, but, um, Brian's our new COO and his background is amazing. And, um, let me just, his background is actually prepaid debit cards or payment industry. He's been in it for 20 years. He actually um, started and was the president and, and ran a large prepaid crypto debit card and sold it about a year and a half ago. And he was hanging out on the beach, you know, retired and, and taking his kids to school. And I, I, I came in contact with one of his friends and his friend says, you really should contact Brian. He's the best in the industry on the prepaid debit card crypto. He's been mining crypto since 2011. He, he, he's very well versed in the prepaid debit card programs. He's, he's very well versed with all the banks who will actually accept what we're doing. There's a lot of banks that won't. There's only a handful of banks that will, and he knows all of them. And so we were super happy that he decided to come on board with us. And he, and he confirmed with us um, that, you know, when you start a program, you think it's pretty cool when you're the one doing the program. You know, I quit my 20 years of banking to go do this. So I always thought it was pretty cool, but it was nice to have someone from the outside that's very well known in the industry confirm to us of what we were doing is, is going to be awesome. And so we've got Brian um, unmuted as well. Yes. Yeah. So Brian, go ahead and go ahead and maybe you do a better job. You know, I think you're a stud, but it, you can do a lot better about talking about yourself than I can. So, no, I, I, wish, I wish my wife was on this call. Thanks for the kind word. <laughs> but yeah, certainly. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely the timing is right. Um, you know, uh, when, when we started looking at this, you know, several years ago, uh, sponsored banks would really shut the door on you because, you know, crypto had a, uh, you know, a negative uh, connotation. And since then, you've seen, you know, worldwide regulation. So now is, is the time uh, to, to get this going, uh, you know, worldwide. So very excited to be a part of the team. Um, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a great team, great, great company as a whole, uh, you know, the, all the different ecosystems. So here, here is needed. Uh, thanks, Brad. And um, looking to get this launched and be successful. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. I put him, I put him on the spot like that. So appreciate you just hopping <laughs> on, Brian. He, he's in New Orleans. So he's been working for a couple hours already. So he, he's getting <laughs> after it. So thanks for hopping on. So this is the next uh, this is someone asked, hey, where, where are we going to be issuing cards? And we are going to be a worldwide uh, global card. Um, this is kind of an estimate of where most of the um, crypto users are. And that's where we're going, you know, except for the OFAC in those countries. Um, the problem is, 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 is our main focus, you know, how, how do you do crypto? A lot of people don't, you know, most people on this call do know, but we want to make it simple enough that, and you guys have met Kathy and she'll say this. We, we want to make it simple enough that Kathy can do it. Simple enough that my mom 
who's never been in crypto can do it. I talked in Vegas on, on Saturday this weekend to a large group and was telling them back in 2015 when I, or 2016, when Coinbase only had three coins, they had Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. I wanted to buy Ripple and I remember, but you couldn't buy it on Coinbase. So you had to send it to Binance and I sent it to Binance and I sent like 5,000 bucks and it was gone for like three hours. And I, I'm like, I, we've, I've lost 5,000 bucks. It's just gone. And I don't know if you all remember that anxiety of your first time of sending cryptocurrency, but it's a scary thing. And it's also, it's still real. It's still, people still have anxiety. They want to get in, but it's a scary thing. And so we want with Switch to make it simple and easy for anybody so they don't have to experience that anxiety that we all experienced back in the day. And so that's the, that's the problem. Okay. So this is the black card. A lot of you talk, we've talked about this before, you know, free transactions, um, ability to, to earn two times the switch rewards. So, and, and, and what that means, it should say points. Um, but every day you can earn points. There's action items that we put together for people who use their card and whoever owns points, it's, you'll be able to get a distribution of switch rewards at the end of the day. That's what that means. 4,000 daily spending limit. This is what I was talking about earlier. We're looking to bump that and, uh, and either bump that on this black card or possibly do a card that's higher than this with higher spending limits. Uh, Apple and Google Pay, it's the 495 annual fee. Uh, spend over 20,000 a year and you get no annual fee or renewal fee charged to you. Um, VIP exchange rates. Uh, you get $1,000, like the video mentioned, you get $1,000 off your smart node purchase as, if you purchase a black card. And then we're looking at working and that's where Brian's helping us is on the, you know, membership travel perks and different uh, card programs that you, that, that you could get gift cards or whatever you want to buy on, on your, dis, on your uh, rewards. So um, and then the next is the blue card and then the digital card. We talked about those a little bit, a little less benefits, but kind of an entry level card for, for anybody that wants to come in. Um, this is kind of an easy thing, store it, spend it, switch it, spend it. You can do all those things within our wallet and uh, it's a one-stop shop. You don't have to go to all these different places. You can do all this and uh, spend and earn or buy and uh, use your, your, your crypto. Um, these are our coins. I, I mentioned this before that we're having on associated with switch it first. You can see down here that we're having other future supported uh, rewards as well. Um, our main goal is to get, you know, the win and get element and get, you know, all our whole ecosystems coins on the switch uh, wallet and, and app. So those are those, but currently we have the five right now. We have green Gallup, bat, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Um, these are our competitors. I already talked about them. Up to four hundred thousand dollars gets their highest card. They do charge tra uh, transaction fees. Their cap balances, load fees. Um, this is us. Once I, I already mentioned, you know, no, no staking fees, no transaction fees, no processing um, worldwide. This is the node. Y'all you know about the node right now. We've sold about 36, 3,700 nodes. So this is ours. This is how we've done the node, which is still a good price at what we're, you know, if you look at the gala node, it's $100,000 right now. So this is uh, it's pretty good entry level um, and make the switch today. So that's a, just a quick overview of what we're doing. Now, there is one more question. And so the question is, is switch a full-blown crypto bank uh, we can transfer fiat currency from a bank. So the answer is, while we're not uh, actually a, a chartered or trusted bank, we do have sponsorship uh, globally. So uh, you can use an IBAN, an international bank account uh, in EEA, as well as UK uh, and globally uh, outside of the United States. Uh, and we are working on a traditional checking account that allows you to do everything from pay your mortgage to uh, do car transfers and wires in the U.S. Uh, later this year. So uh, in essence, we, we do provide the features of, of, a, of, of a traditional bank. Um, however, we are not a bank ourselves. Instead of selling your crypto, having it come back to your IBAN, then load it to your card, we want to be able just to go swipe your card and it does all that stuff in the background. So learn to earn with us. See you on the top. Good night. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.